my January Pokemon subscription box has finally arrived and we're going to be opening in this video. Let's check it out. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. Firstly, can I say a massive Happy New Year to you all. I'm super excited actually for this year. It's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. We have a ton of stuff coming up. There's even talk of reprints or Cosmic Eclipse and evolutions which is gonna be awesome you've got shining fades you've got battle stars i'm super excited i'd actually love to know your thoughts guys on what you're excited for with the anniversary set and all the other stuff that could happen in pokemon during the year go and comment down below what you think might come along what sets you're super excited for i'd love to know let's get the conversation going right today we're gonna to be unboxing this this is a 100 pound pokemon subscription box i pick this up every single month from a company called griffins gamings which I will go and link down below because he is going to do a little offer for us, guys. He's given me a code to use Matt Cully at checkout. If you use that, you get an extra 10% worth of goodies in any subscription box you buy. I think there's a 50, a 75, and a 100 pound one. And they're honestly fantastic, guys. Um, and I, I want to make it clear it's not a paid promotion. I pay for this, and I've been buying this now for about six months, I think it is. And it's been fantastic for the channel, fantastic for me. It's a great way to budget if you're collecting Pokemon. I highly, highly recommend them. So do go and check out the link in the description down below. Right, I guess we should find out what is inside this box. Let's rip into it. Right, here we are. And I've already sliced her open. And let's check out what's inside. And, oh look, a ton of packing peanuts. But let's check out, I can see already some goodies inside here. Uh, which is going to be cool. Here are the first ones. And actually, a great way to start. We have one of the V Power Tins. This is the Pikachu V Power Tin. Then we have, and look at that, they're already priced. Because he does actually have a shop as well. Then we have the EV one as well. They're awesome, actually. I think you get uh, some darkness in there, Sword and Shield, and maybe Rebel Clash. I think that's how it Two darkness. One Rebel, one Sword and Shield, if my memory serves me correct with these boxes. So that's awesome. Chances for Charizards. Gotta love that Darkness of Blaze Charizard. It's fantastic. This is my favourite pull actually of last year. So uh, awesome. Crack into them at some point this month. Then what else do we have in here? I think I'm seeing... There are so many packing peanuts. We have the Poltergeist V collection box right there. Now, interesting around collection boxes. I have the worst, worst luck with these. But... As you can see from my background, I'm starting to build up a sealed collection. I don't have one of these. So, this could be perfect to add to that collection because I'm just going to ruin the luck. Right now, before this is open, this could have a Char... Actually, I like... Couldn't have a Charizard in it because it doesn't have Dinosaur Blaze. We probably will open one item up on this video, guys. And now I've said all that, it could well be that. But we normally try and open one item at the end of this box opening. Uh, let's check out what else... <gasps> Oh, no way. That's awesome. Oh, oh I'm going to get peanuts everywhere. But we have, and I love these. These. Uh, uh, it's a Mega Beedrill EX collection box. Look, you've got the pins in there, the coins. What? That, look at that. That is wicked. That looks awesome. I've got the Incineroar. I've got the Johto GX. That was from his box last month, actually. Um, that's definitely staying sealed. 100% this is staying sealed. But it's got, I think mean, it's got... Uh, Fates Collide, it's got Steam Siege, a couple of Steam Siege, actually a couple of Fates Collide. I'm not sure what these two are, hiding behind here and here, uh, in regards to booster packs. But what's that, six packs inside that? Look at that, 35 quid, that's actually a pretty solid price, so that's awesome. Okay, we've got some small, here you go, this could be perfect for today. What have we got there? A Darkness Ablaze, yeah it is Darkness Ablaze. Oh it does actually say right here on the back as well. We have a Darkness Ablaze Mini a Blister Pack with the Dragpult Trio of Promise. I don't have one of these. I've never actually opened one of these at all. I'm not sure, I've never normally picked these up so that's wicked, thank you very much for that. Oh, last item in here guys is a mini tin, a Galarian mini tin, that is wicked. Uh, do you know what, we'll probably go and open this in this video. There you go guys, that's everything that came in this box. Let's go and see what's inside this tin. Here we are, let's see what we get inside. Now I know there were a bunch of tins and I don't think it's these ones there, but there were a bunch that were coming with evolutions. And someone said you can tell, is it by the barcode or something? What, 
packs you're going to get inside it and, and stuff like that. And damn, this has taken me forever to open. Me! Maybe why I'm telling that, I want to let you know, coming up over the course of this year, by the way, I am going to be starting to do live box breaks on Friday nights here on the channel. And if you want to get involved at the moment of why the website's still getting made and up and getting up and running, uh, I'm advertising all my box breaks over on my Discord, which is linked down in the description down below. And I will eventually, by pre-prioritizing, members will get early access to uh, get involved in the box breaks but then after that it goes on to discord to see who wants it next so if you're interested in box breaks and all that lovely stuff then come check out our discord right finally open and we got a darkness we got a coin actually that's quite nice is that like a rock uh coin in there which looks pretty cool it's got a nice like, sparkly finish on that one actually and then man i tell you what pokemon when they design their tins and products like their pokeballs are the worst of this they don't think about keeping packs like that is not one that you could then send off to grading is it it's one worth keeping like look at it also hang on Oh, I thought it was Sun. I thought it was Evolutions for a minute. It's Sun and Moon. Never mind. But there is obviously Sun and Moon has got that beautiful uh, rainbow air Umbreon and Epsion, I believe. Because uh, I do actually have one PSA graded up there uh, from Epsion GX Rainbow. So that could be in there. Look at that. Oh, it's where the other pack's been pushed on the top of it. I don't. I'm trying to look at my screen to see if you can see. But there's like a. You see that through the pack. He definitely would get any of that graded. And there we go. Galarian Obstagoon uh, little bio thing, which we're going to get rid of that. <laughs> right. Uh, here we go. Let's pick last pack magic. Darkness Ablaze for that. So we're opening that one last. Let's go and crack into this Sun and Moon pack and see if we can get anything decent. Uh, let's. Right. How's the code card working, Sun and Moon? I'm just going to go for it like that. There we go. Enjoy that code card. If you get anything good, by the way, I'd love you to come and show us over on the Discord. Remember, all linked down below. There's a little section to show off what you've got off of code cards. And actually, I have a ton. I'm going to chuck a load up there soon because I've got a stack like this big and I really need to get around to putting them on the Discord. Right. Lilia. Spinder. XP sharer. Oh, I remember that. That was back when Pokemon games used to be hard and you used to have to find an XP sharer to level up your Pokemon. Before now, where they just all level up. Okay, Pokemon games just aren't as hard as they used to be, are they? A Bon Sweet, a Skarmory, a Cutie Fly, a Drowsy. Just taking a chilled little walk there. Ooh, a Bon Sweet Reverse. It looks quite nice actually with that leaf energy. And the last card! Nothing. Just a cloister. We got the reverse though. That's not too bad. Let's see if we can get anything out of our last pack magic, of which there are only two packs. So that's kind of random to say. Look at the state of it. It's absolutely battered inside these two. Pokeball ones look so bad. Like literally all proper bent up on the side. Um, anyway, let's see if we can get anything good out of this. And uh, I don't know. Sound this video off with a bang. I'm really, really happy with the box uh, myself. Sometimes it's some great products I'm definitely going to keep sealed for my collection. I think I will end up opening the EV and the. I don't know. Do you know what? I really, really. I've just smashed my cards across. Damn it. Right. I really like collecting sealed stuff now. So, no, maybe I won't open them. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm definitely keeping the collection box sealed, though. Simage. Galera, Mr. Mine. Grimer. Clink. A skiddy. Pan Sang. Reverse is a diggers B. Okay, come on, last card. Let's get something good. Oh, we did get, we got a holo. We got a Dracovish holographic in there. Uh, not too bad. It looks really bold in the camera, doesn't it? There actually it really stands out that pop. So we got a Dracovish holographic to finish there. Not too bad. So there we go. That was my January 100 pound subscription box. Actually really, really happy. Some stuff that's definitely going in my sealed collection. A couple of things to open up in coming videos on the channel for this month as well. Remember, if you are interested in one of these, do go and check out the link down below and use that code Matt Cully to get an extra bonus goodies in your subscription box. It's an amazing way to budget, actually. I absolutely love these things. I can't recommend them enough. Right, well, if you did enjoy the video, do make sure to hit that subscribe button. Go and check out some of my other videos around here, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.